All right, guys, in the age of the internet socialists, okay, people like Nicola, aka Nicole Sanchez, getting rich, right? Getting rich off of simps, embracing her inner capitalists. You think they'd be inclined to share the wealth share the wealth a little bit okay you ain't got to share it with everybody but since you want to take everybody else money don't be stingy okay just don't be stingy with your own money at the very least share it with your family members you know what i'm saying remember the socialist uh patrice colors the founder of black lives matter said getting rich is fine as long as you're sharing it with your family that's within the marxist principles but apparently some socialists that are making a lot of money okay uh can't find the funds to help out their dear family members the number one socialist the number one socialist out there alexandra ocasio cortez uh came out and shared with us a story about her poor abuela okay and i think that means grandmother in spanish okay my spanish is not good no hablo espanol okay and aoc basically gives a sad story about her her abuela right who was unfortunately affected by hurricane maria that hit puerto rico back in 2017 she went to puerto rico to see her for the first time in a year and she's showing us pictures of the home and as you can see here the home the roof is falling out you know there's issues it, you know it don't look great okay don't look great and she blames trunk for this right so she's using her grandma her poor grandma who's suffering in puerto rico to make a statement about trump a political statement okay that's what she's doing and matt walsh a conservative commentator at uh the daily wire responds to this and he says shameful that you live in luxury while allowing your own grandmother to suffer in these squalid conditions okay and matt walsh here makes a brilliant point okay he makes a brilliant point and the reason why he's making a brilliant point is because um for somebody like aoc who claims to be a socialist um, she's living in America and as a congressman, she's making what at least $170,000 a year. Okay. Uh, she's driving a Tesla. Okay. Uh, she's living a pretty good life for the most part, uh, because she's so famous, it's very easy for her to make money. If she wants to make money, you would think that somebody of her status could easily fundraise or send her grandma some money. Okay. So Matt Walsh is making a great point here but instead no aoc is trying to say that that she shouldn't take personal responsibility for helping her grandma who she claims is living in terrible conditions conditions terrible enough that she can use it as a political statement but instead she wants the big government to help her out that's what she's saying wait on the government don't take personal responsibility wait on the government okay and guys you know, this is just a prime example of how these socialists, they don't live in reality, okay? They, they, they are dependent on the government even when they have the means to help themselves, okay? It's really sad. It's really sad. So AOC responds to Matt Walsh and she says, quote, you don't even have a concept for the role that first gen, firstborn daughters play in their families. My obila is okay, but instead of only caring for mine and letting others suffer i'm calling attention to the systemic injustices you seem totally fine with in having a u.s colony okay so i don't really know the first point that aoc is trying to uh make here in regards to um the role of first generation firstborn daughters right and how they plan their families i mean you know is she saying that she's already taking care of her family like what is she saying? I, I, I don't know. Right? I don't know what she's actually saying here. Uh, but, you know, the second point that she's making is that she's trying to say that Matt Walsh doesn't care about those in Puerto Rico, that he is heartless and that just because he feels like it's silly to wait on the government to do something that she could fix herself, that makes him heartless. And don't get me wrong, I don't believe that the government shouldn't do anything. Obviously, the government should help Puerto Rico, okay? I, I think that's pretty obvious. But his overall point is that you should not wait and depend on the government to do something that you can fix yourself, even if it 
technically would be the government's responsibility to help. And this brings up an even broader point about the practical realities of government, okay, that a lot of socialists don't understand because a lot of these socialists get up here and they say, well, we deserve free health care. Free health care is a right. Uh, free college is a right. All these things are rights, okay, to them. They think that they're entitled to something from the government just for being a citizen, okay? And listen, here's the thing. If you just made that statement with no context, I think a lot of people would probably agree with it, right? The government should help their citizens, okay? But it's one thing to say that and to believe that, and it's another one to see how that actually works in practical reality. Now, again, that's not to say that the government should not help their citizens, but in what way should the government help? How should the government help? I think those are the key questions that socialists really don't know how to answer. Their answer is always big government universal program that is inefficient and wasteful and really causes more headache, right? So again, from a practical perspective, it's better to rely on yourself than to rely on the government, period. Remember, it's so bad that AOC felt the need to make a political statement. So she felt that bad about it. You would think she would act on her own just because he, you know, is criticizing her for that. Um, apparently, he's a bad person, right? So... In response to this, Matt Walsh does the most epic thing that I've seen in a long time because he's honestly making a really good point. Mm -hmm. He decides to start a GoFundMe for Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Obuelos, and Sandro home, okay, in which there was a goal of raising uh, about $50,000, and they created this four hours ago, and now it's raised over $57,000, $57,000 in four hours, okay? And uh, <laughs> a lot of people like Ben Shapiro and uh, all the guys at Daily Wire have donated to this, okay? And <laughs> I think this is hilarious. And, you know, some people don't like it as much, but I think it actually makes a great point. The point that he's making is, is that instead of complaining on the internet, right, you can take the initiative to help your grandma to help the people that you love, Okay. You should not depend on the government to do what you can do for yourself because the government will always fail no matter who's in office, right? Whether it's Trump, Biden, Obama, Bush, Clinton, anybody, right? You should never depend on them to do for what you can do for yourself, period, period. So yes, it, it is unfortunate what's going on in Puerto Rico, okay? But Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez is living in the United States. She's making upper middle class money. OK, she drives a nice Tesla. She's probably going to be rich for the rest of her life. She's going to be very well off because of her fame. You can always monetize fame. So I personally, I don't see what's stopping her from taking the initiative to help her grandma, especially when she felt like the situation was bad enough to use as political ammunition against Trump. If it's really that bad, then you should be helping her. And the fact that Matt Walsh took the initiative to do this fundraiser for AOC's grandma, he's basically driving home the point to AOC that you could have easily helped her yourself without having to depend on the government or ask the government for help. Now, I get it. AOC is asking uh, the government for more funds and more help, and that's something she should talk to Biden about. So Trump is out of office. Ain't nothing Trump can do about what happened, right? But everybody doesn't like this as much as I do. Because some people feel like that, oh, this is a stunt to own the libs, raising money for AOC's grandma to own the, the libs. Listen, I, I do generally agree that uh, the right obsession with owning the libs, it's kind of ridiculous to a certain extent, right? It, it doesn't really accomplish much, okay? Uh, but in this case, I think it actually does. I think it actually makes a broader political point that underlines what conservatism is actually supposed to be, Okay. And I think that's important because if you guys remember, uh, AOC, she raised money for Texas when Texas was basically frozen. When Texas was frozen, AOC raised money. I think she raised like at least two, three, four, five million dollars, something like that. And um, she got a lot of credit for that. Right. And I would give her credit for that because she didn't have to do that. But yet she used her star power to do it. And a lot of people called it a political stunt at the time. A lot of people on the right called it a political stunt.
And it probably was a political stunt, just like this is probably a political stunt. But at the end of the day, the, the political stunt, it does help people, right? It's not like it's a political stunt that doesn't help anybody. It does help somebody. And the fact is, is that this political stunt, just like AOC's political stunt, can be seen as the opposition putting aside politics, okay, and helping those in need. Showing a more human side of people, even if it is just to own the libs, even if it is just to own the conservatives, right? Somebody's getting helped out from it, right? And hope, you know, assuming that that's where the donations are going. So in my opinion, I, I really don't have a problem with it. And I think that, you know, sometimes killing them with kindness is actually the way to go, especially when it comes to the left, okay? Because the perception from the left in terms of what they have a conservatives is that we are heartless and that, you know, we don't care about our fellow human beings and that's why we don't embrace socialism. When Matt Walsh is showing AOC that individualism and capitalism can actually be much more effective and faster and efficient than the government. And that is the lesson that he's driving home to AOC. And I think he did it in a way that was brilliant and that was also very classy as well. Okay, considering AOC's response to him and AOC's past rhetoric in regards to conservatives. So kudos to Matt Walsh on this. Okay, I don't always agree with what Matt Walsh says, but I do respect the fact that um, I think he means what he says, right? Even if I think some of the things he says is a little bit uh, misguided to a certain extent, uh, and he overblows a lot of topics that I don't think are that important, but it is what it is. He's a, he has his own lane and I respect him. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.